Right, so we've had a fucking curry. I enjoyed that. Probably more than I'm going to enjoy walking around Cannock Chase at night, especially the Birchis Valley area. It's been a while. Yeah, probably just mentioned to the cameras. I know we're only using the body cameras at the minute, but tonight's kind of more for us than you guys, if I'm honest. We decided to meet up, have a walk around. It's been a while since we've been around Cannock. Uh, we're planning a camp here in a few weeks. We just wanted to have a walk around, didn't we? Yeah. But the cameras are kind of an afterthought, so it's probably not going to be an investigation as like you guys would watch. It's not going to be set up like that. Maybe this will be members' footage. Maybe it'll just be a video for whoever wants to watch it. Um, I think but, we've just shoved them on just in case anything does happen. Really, basically, yeah. Know, but. but yeah, so we apologise if we're talking crap and whatever, but tonight's <laughs> kind of for us, isn't it? More yeah. than anyone else. Like I said, thought if we just go one night vision two body cams and just enjoy ourselves have a walk around that's it re-familiarise ourselves with the place because it's been so long but it looks fucking different already I don't even recognise it well yeah I mean I expected to walk through here just be trees everywhere and I'm, I think we've got to go this way haven't we I think last time we come though it was obviously I know we, we've done the German war cemetery we've obviously been with oh, all sorts of investigators haven't we there's a lot of th- Things around Cannock, um, as regards hauntings and stories, there's loads in fact. But it's the Birches Valley area that freaks me out. Yeah. If that makes sense. It's the black eyed child sightings and I don't know. The black eyed child sightings are I know awful. obviously they're reportedly haunted. But I don't know, it's it's this place that when we first come we were like I don't know, excited about getting out of the vehicle and what have you? Were we? Well, okay. Scared. We're, we were terrified. Scared, should I say. <laughs> yeah, but that's part of the excitement, isn't it? It's like... I don't know. So, it's further down here, I think, when we first come here, we filmed a bit to camera about Raymond Leslie, Leslie Morris. Oh, yeah. Because I think we did it on the anniversary of his... Is it, is it rest? I think or? it was when he was sentenced. Sentenced, something like it was that. February yeah. the 17th. How oh, the bloody hell do you remember that? I, I'm, I'm just, I, well, I don't. I might be wrong. That's impressive. I'm going to check that when we get back. Yeah, that's impressed me if that's true. That I, might, I might be wrong, but I think it's. I really think it was February the seventeenth. Anyway, God, that's impressive. If you remember. Yeah, I just remember when we when we went. It was like bitterly cold. It was sub zero, wasn't it? Yeah. Temperatures. I just remember dropping you off at uh, Castle Ring. And coming back here absolutely terrified. Yeah. And then... Uh, Wasn't a fan of that, to be fair. I remember I went, the, I went into the... I went into the... Whoa, did you just touch me? Or was that no, I didn't, I didn't touch you at That's all. It's been a bug. I remember going into the trees and uh, being like, did Raymond Leslie Morris kill you and all this sort of stuff? Looking down, my camera weren't on. I was like, <laughs> shit. I felt like I'd been there forever. It wasn't that long, but... Because I was on my own, terrified. Felt like I'd been down there for ages. And then it was like, shit, I've got to do all this again. <laughs> oh, mate, honestly, I just It was like... Uh... See, I think we usually enter the path down here. So Is it? We cut through these trees normally. But I think we've parked further down. To be fair, it's nice walk on the path. How are you feeling? I don't know, but... Yeah. Did you feel like you needed to look behind then? Yeah, I did, yeah. I keep getting that feeling. I mean, it could just be because I haven't done that yet until now, but... Uh, but it feels like, yeah, like almost you need to just... I think it's just I recognise where I am, sort well, sort of, anyway. Yeah. Concerns me tonight, it is. We don't have a lot in the line of torches. I've obviously got this rechargeable one, and you've got that one. Yeah. Which should last a long time. We've got a pack of batteries. And we've got yeah. one torch. They yeah, don't work. Going off. Yeah. <laughs> don't work. <laughs> My phone battery is really low. Yours ain't much far behind. Yeah. It's almost like we weren't prepared for this, really, was it? Yeah. You know what I mean? We never are, are we? Well, I mean, we're normally a bit better than this, but uh, <laughs> I suppose this was very last minute. Hey, do you want to go and do this tonight? I remember when we first come here, uh, walking down here together, and you looking at the sky. I'm doing it now. 
and freaking out because there were some right weird things going on in the sky. Yeah, yeah. So of all the hauntings at Canic Chase, what scares you the most? Uh, when you say hauntings... Well, okay. Uh, paranormal. I'm not going to uh, limit yeah. it to ghosts. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely the, the UFOs for me. Um, well, I don't know. Actually, UFOs and black-eyed children are probably tied. Yeah. But... Well, I think they could be tied because uh, the explanation for either, there is none really. No. The black-eyed children could be something not of this world, couldn't they? Well, yeah, exactly. Whether it's demonic or extraterrestrial or whatever. It's yeah, it, it could be, like you say, it could be linked. Yeah. And what's the most ridiculous story? Um, Slenderman, Pigman... I'd actually probably say Slender Man more than Pig Man. I would agree. Um, because I kind of believe that if there was, I don't know, some sort of secret testing or whatever that we're not meant to know about that would have happened on animals and, you know, whoever knows. Uh, you See, I've got a different theory to you here, I think. Uh, okay. The Slender Man, I think, is very much an internet sensation. I think it was proven to be an internet sensation. Yeah. Um so I don't give it much credibility. Yeah. The pig man, I don't think it was an experiment gone wrong or anything like that. I think it was a deformity. Okay. I think going back years gone by, people with deformities were cast aside, whether they're called witches or whatever. Yeah. And I think perhaps if you cast aside around here, you're going to live in the woods. And I think when people saw him... I mean, you think of the Elephant Man. Yeah, You know true. what I mean? I think people saw him. Perhaps he had some growth on his face or something. Yeah. That made him look like... I don't know, people say he resembled a pig. And I think it could have been a normal person living out here with a deformity. Potentially. That I think it's more explainable, isn't it? It's Whereas... more explainable. But there's also... The history of it goes back a long way. So I do also give it credibility. I think there genuinely was a person for so many stories and rhymes and whatever. Yeah. You know. But I just don't necessarily think it was someone who was half pig, half man. <laughs> so I might be wrong with the um, the story of Slenderman, but I'm pretty sure it may have been Castle Ring. May not have been. I'm pretty sure possibly Castle Ring area. Don't quote me on that. But there's, there's a... Oh, you're right. Yep. There's a story of a uh, Slender Man, or a Slender Man type figure, that was um, seen like early hours of the morning or late at night. Yeah, I'm sure that was Castle Ring. Boys, actually. yeah. I'm not fucking looking forward to walking back up here. <laughs> Seems to be coming. Just take our time. Uh, they were w- walking by themselves, and they saw like a Slender Man type figure walking in the same direction, like, but just maybe if you know you're you're there. I'm like a stone's throw away from you. Yeah. And they're walking at the same point at the same time. And then all of a sudden this Slender Man figure starts levitating. See, that to me sounds extraterrestrial. Uh, yeah. More so than... Uh, and the description of the figure, maybe. Yeah, more so than spiritual. That sounds very extraterrestrial. Yeah. Which I'm sure you don't like. No, I don't really, to be honest. The only the thing that bothers me about it is well obviously you know you hear the stories of the abductions yeah and you think well that's you know you're literally getting taken off this your planet. planet yeah potentially um okay you might meet a ghost but uh, maybe get possessed i don't know but i suppose like where where does you feel like i suppose everyone's different but i think one of the big things with canic chase is the isolation yeah so we're here now, if you saw a black-eyed child, or, is that a full moon? Yeah, full moon. Or, or pretty much, pretty anyway, much. near enough. Um, yeah, if you saw a black-eyed child or saw anything here, it's so vast and so sort of... Yeah, we take... I don't recognise this. Oh, I'm yeah. not convinced we're in the right place. Where do you think we are, then? I don't know. But where we used to be, you'd walk down here and it looked like a fork. Like, and that side would be low. 
That side's high. Is it for... I also don't remember that massive fucking hill. Or is it just because it's been a while? It certainly feels very, uh, I don't know. I'm not very good at like recognising stuff anyway, to be honest, no. but especially in the dark. Yeah, I suppose I don't remember like a big open part there, but I don't know. No, I, I thought it was all tree cover. So. Fuck knows, we will see. Yeah. I do night riding down here. Right. Maybe we should fucking do that. <laughs> night riding, yeah. Give it a go. Quicker. What's up? Fine. Fine. Clear something that sounds like a jet. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the thing with the UFO element for me. It's because it's like, if you did see something, what next? What, what happens then? Yeah. Like, is it just a case of you see it and you manage to get away or is it you see it and it interacts with you you see in a lot of these instances when people see things like that or they're in the car and the radios go off and all these different things yeah that's it you lose suddenly power suddenly you lose time yeah lose power lose time lose memory yeah so <clears throat> I don't know keep hearing things to the right and solid that sounds like mm, like somebody doing really crap sort of ghost impressions oh okay it's not the sound of that jet no possibly maybe it's echoing through the Fucking valley and this is shit isn't it so we're going to plan a camp here then yeah. I don't know whereabouts. Obviously in the Birches Valley area, but we've got a map, haven't we, of all the hauntings? I was going to say, you say that, but that map, is that bigger than the Birches Valley? Yes, it is. So, so I think we sort of triangulate the area with the most hauntings. Yeah. Which, if I'm honest, I think probably is the Birches Valley. But if we triangulate that, and then from there... Try and find a good place to set up a camp. That could be a good shout. What's up? I just don't recognise any of this. No? I almost feel like we've gone too far. Or do you need to turn back? I don't know. Well, shall we turn back if you're not sure? Cause... Last thing we need is getting lost as well, right? None of this is... I don't remember any of this, do you? I, mate, I've got really bad memory anyway, so... Probably not. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to turn back. Because <laughs> <laughs> if we don't actually recognise it, we might as well, I say. I'm torn. I don't fancy that hill again. No, I know, but... That is kind of the only route back. Yeah, we don't know where the fuck we're going otherwise, and we might be walking along. It just seems it? really weird because before we were walking through grass area into a forest, now we're just like on some path that. Yeah. Is that we... water? Is that noise? Yeah. That is an old tree. That is a fucking creepy tree. Isn't it? Mate, as far as trees go, you know, you're in a haunted woods late at night. That is a pretty good tree to see. Right. What's that noise? That's what noise? What noise? Oh. What? Insects are attracted to us around here, mate. 
This is proper light. What the fuck? Get off me, you bastard. This is proper um, broken, this torch, isn't it? Literally, it's just... I ain't even pressing the button. I've just had a really weird message. What do you mean? I'm going to show you. Who is it from? My daughter. Your daughter? Yeah. Which one? Whoa, what was that? And she's like... Don't... What the fuck, man? Whoa. What the fuck? That's like a fucking hornet thing. That's like a fucking hornet. Oh, let me see this right there. Don't respond if you're dead. Daddy, please what? tell me you're alive. Blah, 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 blah. Where's that come from? Uh, she's thought about that sort of stuff before, she though, has, hasn't she? She has, yeah. So is it just the age? Possibly. How old is she now? Eight. Shit. She does worry about crazy things. Why don't you ring her, if you've got a signal? That's probably more comforting, to be fair. Let me send her a voice message. Has she, she replied? Yeah. What she said? Just love you, whatever. Right, oh. okay, so we've instinctively turned back. Because we don't know where we are. <laughs> I'm not sure, but that was like a fucking hornet that kept yeah, bouncing yeah. off my hand. Bit like it. It was actually uh, the hor like, you know, that tree you were looking at? Yeah. I was zooming in the torch on and there was um, some things. I thought they were just wasps, but... I wonder if it was a hornet's nest. Could be. Have to be careful, because if they get you, they'll go for you. They all go, don't they? If they actually spray you with a pheromone, they'll all come. Ooh, pheromone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing sexy about being stung by hornets, <laughs> mate, trust me. Each to their own. <laughs> Them fucking things will kill you. Yeah. Quite yeah. literally. Yeah, because they, they sent... Uh, Set off the scent, don't they? Yeah. And then they all follow. I am properly lost. It definitely isn't familiar, is it? So I just don't understand how it could have changed. We're definitely parked in the same place, just further up. Would we have come into the forest in a, in a slightly different turning? I Not remember this path. This one? I think we come down here, perhaps. Really? It's definitely grass to the woods, weren't it? I don't know, man. Mate, look at all this. It's like they felled a load of trees. So it's not an ideal route, mate. Hey. This is not an idyllic route. No, not really. You sure that's where it actually is? Well, so don't look it. I'm kind of hoping. <sighs> Fucking neck already, I know that. How you fair in with the walk? Knackered. Yeah. You? Yeah, I've been struggling with it a little. Not not tonight, but walking. Yeah. Last couple of weeks, which makes me think I did get COVID. Yeah, oh, I've noticed it definitely. <laughs> My legs are breathing. It's the breathing for me. Yeah. I thought you can't catch your breath almost. Yeah. This is the path we take. Is it? You're a better navigator than I am. Well, oh, I don't know. I'm pretty fucking lost now. <coughs> so water going out of breath after that. Yeah. There is a pig man. You call it that? And it does gallop at people. Oh. They fucking have me now because I'm fucked. <laughs> I to wish I wouldn't have dressed up like the imbonerable snow one. You're feeling a bit warm, are you? Fucking hell. <laughs> Moon's creepy, yeah. Yeah. You 
You're right. Yeah. What are you thinking? I keep thinking I see something behind me. What did you see? Like a thin white mist. Oh, okay. Probably the imagination or breath or something. No, I can't. I don't think it's cold enough for breath yet, but might just be. Um... We're quite warm though, so. Mm. Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything, but I just had a feel, a feel to look back. What did you hear? Sound like a footstep. No, I didn't hear that. We were walking in unison then. It sounded like a footstep out of unison. Good point. Let's walk back in unison. So I didn't even, I didn't even clock that. The other thing about black-eyed children or black-eyed kids, it's like, is it just me or when they sort of talk and they like come up to you and stuff, they seem really slow. Like they, they ask for permission. They don't chase you. Hmm. They what? just um, they're oh. just kind of there, aren't they? And they walk, or they walk away. So almost like they're in control. Well, almost, but like it's almost like they're not out to sort of like run after you. Well, do you remember that story? Yeah, you know I mean, might be wrong with that. In America, where they went to the house and asked for help. Yeah. And the one man looked them in the eyes, and then died shortly after. I think he's. Oh, I can't remember if he, he died, died or he had he had problems. He had like cancer and stuff. And, and he stopped bleeding from the nose and all that as well. That's it, he had a nosebleed, I believe. That was weird, we both did that. You heard that? <laughs> Didn't hear it again, but I just thought I'd keep having feelings. Well. Are you getting freaked? Yeah. A little bit, anyway. I need to slow down a bit, catch my breath. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Camera probably don't show it, but this is fucking vertical. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, it was to do with looking in the eyes. Now the black eyed <coughs> kid that's sitting around here, mm -hmm. what does she do? She covers her eyes. True. Okay. And then you ask what's wrong. She reveals her eyes. Yeah. Like she wants you to look into her eyes. Yeah. And then they say that you chase her and you can end up in danger. If if she goes away. Or maybe she does run away then. And you, you chase her. Oh. Do you make a noise then? No. Um So what was that? What? It was a scream. I didn't hear a scream. Mate, you'll hear that on the camera. That was a fucking scream. Evil slab. <laughs> Look at that. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't hear a scream. I definitely heard a scream. Come from over there. Where? That way. Great. Right in the middle of where the forest would have been. Okay. That was a definite fucking scream. Which way do we have to go? I don't know. You don't know? I'm kind of lost now, to be honest. Maybe turn back in a bit? I don't know which trees. We started from whether we took an angle and the car's over there, or if the car's over there. Every time we start to walk, I hear fucking footsteps behind us. Yeah. And that's where the scream come from, right behind us. Yeah, I heard, I haven't heard a lot the most the majority of the night so far but I heard footsteps just before when I turned around a minute ago. That screams the clearest thing I've heard. I've not heard it you say. Bench, loving life. Well you you really want to sit there? Oh what's on here? Oh it's a can. Right. Always the first to the top, no matter how life changes, no matter what we do. Special place in our hearts. Always kept for you. Is that five minutes? Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm starting to get a Mate, bit free. Mate, something appearing from over there. 
Well, Shine your torch over there. Well. That's me, torch. Can't see anything. But you can hear that. I can hear that, yeah. I'm ready to turn back, like. It's not bad enough. Yeah, that's great. What way? What is that there? What? Oh, I'm just freaking now. I think we go back the way we came, mate. Mate, that is a fucking hell of a way. You all right? Yeah. Watch out, that'll trip you. Oh, wow. This has completely changed, man. So I'm not being totally reckless walking through the very thick wood. No, but I think we should get onto a main path when we can. Hi, hi. What's been going on here then? We fucking devil worship now, that look. Oh shit. My instinct sort of tells me if we are being followed, it's going to struggle to follow us through here. Mm. Don't know. Any impression you disagree? Yeah, I do disagree. I think if we're being followed, you're in this playground anyway. Just watch your foot in, man. Yeah. I want to go that way. I think, I think we, we can go still that go that way, but we just need to get on the path. I reckon if we go up here, it'll lead to a path. I know you're not liking it, but trust me. <laughs> in all fairness, my sense of direction usually does us all right, doesn't it? The other thing is, yeah. I don't know the way back to the path. Yeah. So, I'm gonna keep following that fucking noise. And hope whoever that is in the car keeps driving around here. <sighs> Mate, how much further do these trees go on for? Oh, you bastard. Yeah. You right? Yeah. I'm trying to keep up. Well, I'm going to apologise. Why don't we just walk that way? There you go. Watch out, man. This is you just need to get out of this like, crowded area, mate, so I ain't going to go anywhere. <clears throat> Be careful of your foot in as well. Yeah. Right, okay. Bit of a scramble. Yeah. Walk down the stone path down there. Yeah. Come back up a little bit. Yeah. Turned right across here. Yeah. Went through here, down here. Yeah. Back here. I think if we go this way. It should lead us. I think. What's that in the fucking. I can, talk to you over there. I can try and zoom in. If it works. It's fading now. There's like light in it. Didn't someone say the black eyed child sort of has her own <coughs> light? <coughs> I don't know actually. I'm sure that's been said before. So do you reckon that stream was uh, wildlife as well then? They say foxes sound like humans. Yeah. Like girls screams. Now, I've heard foxes. They do sound a bit screamy. I don't know, that to me... That not sound like a fox? Hard to tell. Okay. But certainly sounded like a scream. I'm guessing you could be right, actually. So if we carry on straight up, you say? I don't know. Because then the car... So I'm starting to wonder, is it down here now? Have we done a loop? What's that? It's not... I still think we're over there, though, you see. Well, I thought that. I still do. I don't. I think this is where we walked in. You reckon? If it is, then... It's a fucking fluke we're here, so I completely lost my bearings. Okay. 
This looks like where we walked into me. I don't know how you tell because it's just so. Well, it's the only other path I've seen like this. Oh, hang on, is that a car there? So you might be right. I'll eat my words. There's a car there, look, as well. Which I'm guessing that means if we would have carried on up there, we would have. Mate, we literally. I thought we were back down there. We are lucky to have found our way here. So this is the right one? I don't know. It's a road. Well, it could be somewhere else, actually. What's the sign say? This is what I know from that. That's our man. Ah, oh, okay. Fucking hell, could have been walking miles. Mate, how lucky was I? Didn't I? I genuinely thought we were somewhere else. 